requesting me back at it with rain code. Let's see where getting knocked out get us, gets us, I guess. Damn, we're in another creepy room. At least they had the decency to put our little raincoat on. Were we wearing that? Where am I? Shiny. No, shut up. There's a shiny over there. Kurumi. little town. What is this place? I've never seen anywhere so creepy. You don't know where we are either? It's raining, so it's probably somewhere in Kona or but I don't recognize anything here. Who knew there was a place like this in Kona or there are some rundown shacks over there. It looks like a rural village. We were not wearing our raincoat. Whoever took us here had the decency to put on our little our little hat and cape. Must have been a powerful sedative. You were instantly KO'd. I'm assuming it's Makoto or something, I don't know. I got knocked out too. And I remember seeing on the news before I passed out the WDO building was bombed by a terrorist. Huh? It was? Could this be related to the explosion? Who could have done this? The criminal being pursued by the World Detective Organization? What's going on? This is really bizarre. And where is everyone else from the detective agency? If they were taken away like we were, then they should be nearby. We should search around here for now. Hi, Van. Welcome on in. Okay, you guys need to let me get my shiny. And then I was gone. No, let me back inside that damn house. There was a shiny in there. Me back inside that house. Thank you. Let me have that. That's for me. Scrap wood. This way's blocked. I don't think I can get through. What are you gonna do? Force your way through? No, let's look for other options first. 
And then there was a door. This door doesn't seem to be locked, but the knob's broken, so we can't get through. Guess you got no choice but to kick it down. If we run out of places to go, that might be the only way, but for now, let's look someplace else. It's a real mess past this point. I don't think we could go any further no matter how hard we tried. They're made by the same Danganronpa, the people who made Danganronpa. We don't have to go there now, do we? Let's see what else we can find first. Yeah, you're right. There's also pink blood in this game. All the murders that we've been solving, they've... Bloody pink crime scene, just like Danganronpa. <laughs> Appear out of nowhere. There's somebody over there, there's a dot. There. What are they doing? If we look around here, we might know something. Wait, you're going to talk to them? I think that's a bad idea. But we have to find out where we are. It'll be fine. Gonna talk, so it should be okay, right? Uh, do, do we really have to talk to him? I've got a bad feeling about this. It's all right. It's just a little chat. Hey, man. Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, hello. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Zombies. I'm scared of zombies, you guys. Shit, there's more of them. Not that way, there's donkeys that way. More zombies up ahead. We have to change routes. It looks like we can go back. What are they attacking? Stop complaining and run. Go, go, go. Well, I can't go that way? Okay. Okay, this way, I guess. There's a shiny in there. Post office. There was definitely something wrong with those people. Bah. Thanks, Harris. I want a big stick and this. something quick there's got to be something we can use oh, let's see is that a box envelope hmm oh, okay there's a letter inside evacuation order yesterday toxic gas was discovered to be leaking from the nearby mines this area has been purchased by Amaterasu Corporation and has been designated as off limits. All residents are hereby requested to evacuate the area immediately. An evacuation order from Amaterasu Corp. I see. I think I know where we are. Yeah, this is the restricted area. Supposedly, it was a tiny village that was abandoned due to 
the toxic gases from a nearby mine. Ever since then, the whole area has been restricted. So this is where you were talking about. Yeah, it's they were really cute, right? Thanks, Harris. <laughs> Corpses rot easily due to the humidity from the rain, so they are quick to retrieve bodies. The corpses are then loaded onto trucks and transported to the restricted area for disposal. But that process is managed by a department with a handful of people working directly for Amaterasu's CEO. On top of that, they are only involved in transportation. They aren't aware of what happens afterwards. How the bodies are buried and who buries them is a mystery. Really? So the rumors about it being a corpse processing facility were true? Oh, thanks, Harris. <laughs> I thought you'd know. No, I don't. But why a corpse processing facility? Jimmy's. Maybe Amaterasu is secretly disposing bodies used for human experimentation. was an unexpected side effect of the experiment. Oh my god, zombies. Does that mean they really are zombies? But that can't be. A corpse can't come back to life. Aren't zombies supposed to be dead? They sure didn't smell like corpses to me. Huh? They didn't really seem alive either. Hmm. Yeah, Shini got me scared of ghosts, which is silly. Okay, we need a weapon, though. Oh shit. Ah! What the hell? I'm scared. <laughs> a ladder on an arrow. Talk about old fashioned. Well, what does it say? Warning. Homunculi are predisposed to eating human flesh in order to maintain the artificial organic synthesis in their cells. Currently, there are no alternate sources of nutrition, and they grow sick if they do not consume human flesh. Particularly malnourished specimens will attack any human on sight. So please do your best to be careful. So they're not zombies or homunculi? From the Amaterasu Homunculus Research Department. Homunculi? I 
thought they'd be like monstery. Like, I mean, obviously they're zombie monstery, but like I thought they'd be like some kind of abomination. Homunculi who wander around the restricted area seem to subsist on human flesh. Well, where the fuck are they getting it? Oh, ads, BRB. What the hell is going on? Okay. Next up, something Big Bird will confess on his deathbed. It's <laughs> You guys. <laughs> Don't forget to vote. <laughs> Who else did it? Who else could have possibly done this? I, I thought that the, the three periods after that, I thought it was funny. No fucking way. Oh! Oh, we fucking got him! Andrew, we did it! into him with a right hook. Roundhouse kick? Okay. Point! What does that mean? What's that? Slowness, bitch. What the fuck do you mean they died? Aurora, where the fuck are you? Where is she? Did you guys fucking eat her? Maybe Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's a, we have a very special key we don't know about. Yeah, like it could be like a like a yeah. platinum jeweled key or something. <laughs> The platinum key, like it literally just opens up every door in the map. Oh, come on now. Ah! Mm, what you say? Mm, but... Okay, welcome back. All right, what the hell is going on? Those little blue lights kind of make me think it's like a shiny, but it's just little blue lights. We can get out this, way. this way? Thanks, Shinigami. I appreciate you. The priest. You must please be careful. Yeah. Right, stand back just in case. Stop. Um, father? Do you 
Oh shit. Oh shit. I pressed the wrong button. He's gonna eat me! I died. I kind of press A like on instinct. Like it's just like, I gotta I gotta press A. Like that's like what my what I gotta do. Sachi. What the fuck was that? Oh. Icardi. Did, are you diving off the roof? These people are supposed to be dead. What is a homunculus anyway? Have they been using people's corpses to Oh shit. Have they been using people's corpses to make homunculi or what? Okay, I failed. Okay, let's go. Hurry it up. These people are supposed to be dead. What is a homunculus anyway? She was that murder victim, right? I think. Yes. Yes. I'm doing it. I'm doing quick time events. A fence. Does it surround the whole village? That's right. This is the restricted area. But I think we can climb over it. I'll go first, Karumi. You follow after. Homunculi react and are drawn towards sound. No owies? Is that the corpse factory? I was thinking about the game Corpse Factory the other day. It started off so good. Brianna Nickerbocker's in it too. But then just what is going on in there? Well, we're not gonna find any answers out here. Oh, let's go in. But then the second part just like kinda fucking sucks. Oh, 
It was it was such a bummer. It's one of those temporary toilets they always have at construction sites. So does that mean someone construction work has been carried out? It looks like a permanent fixture though. It must belong to a po to toilet collector living nearby. I don't think so. These lights are incredibly bright. I guess this place would be pitch black without them. No. But Yuma, if they're switched on right now... Yeah, someone is watching over this area. We better tread carefully. Yeah, it was such a bummer. Like, the first part was, like, so, so good. And then, like, it just got really dumb. It's the corpse factory! Where are the homies? Kurumi, don't shout out. There's zombies around. Looks like some kind of factory. It's dark and creepy. But it still seems to be functioning. But no one's supposed to be in the restricted area. What kind of factory is this anyway? I know it's a Silent Hill reference, but also Fear and Hunger. <laughs> or at least it's, it is Silent No, Resident Evil. Resident Evil saw it, not Silent Hill. Why is the machine operating? There's nobody there to run it. I'm getting nothing but bad vibes here. Be careful, master. I think it's a corpse factory, Yuma. And there's, there's the corpses. They're right there. Let's go on a bit further and find out. They look like little buns. It's a bakery. We're at the corpse bakery. What's wrong? Master? Nothing. It's just. I got a feeling we shouldn't go any further. Huh? Why? We might find out the secret of the restricted area. I know. We also might find out something terrible. Well, how about you wait right here? I'll go and look. Hey, Kurumi! Now we have to go. Master, don't tell me you're scared after coming this far. Scared? Of course I am. I just... know. Know what? The truth awaits us up ahead. In the guise of a monster. Will I really be able to face it? What? We don't get a homie this chapter? This sucks. They are buns. Demonstrate how the specialty food is produced. Why does my presence here automatically? 
triggered it to go off. I'm not sure. It feels like it was talking to us. That announcement sounds like a trap to me. But we can't turn back now. I've made up my mind. Speaking of detectives, the Detective Famicom games are getting a new entry. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so we're at the bun factory. The meat buns are made and processed methodically. Yeah, I played the remakes. I really liked them. I thought they were very good. It's totally normal for a factory, but there's still something creepy about it. No, Shinigami, no. <laughs> I liked it, Shinigami, don't worry. Looks like this machine monitors the something in the factory. I have no idea what it says, though. For now. No point in worrying over things you can't figure out. Forget about it and move on. True. Right now, the most important thing is to keep moving forward. I'm a pal. Hi, I'm a pal. I love you. You're my friend. Another zombie. Or homunculi, I guess. Yeah, special meat. They're using corpse meat at the corpse factory. But they have. Are they eating a- is that a skeleton? And besides, coming right out of it wouldn't do anything. We have to punch them, Yuma. You sound. Help us, I'm a pal. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, there's definitely like a corpse here. Yeah, somebody's dead. What were they all flocking to? You might use your fucking eyes. It looks like this machine's blowing air into the conveyor section. Well, this is a food factory, so maybe it's to keep the place sanitary. You're right. Is it Desahiko? Oh my god. Are those his little booties? Oh my god. Oh my god, you're right. They fucking killed Desuhiko, they ate him! Huh? They ate Desuhiko! The got oh my god! Oh. I would throw up right now if I was Yuma. I don't know, there was a bone in that boot. That'd be kind of funny, though, if we find Tazeko just running around naked. <laughs> I don't believe it. I refuse to. Yuma. Kurumi, didn't the announcement also 
Ransom saved me. To kill? Both. That means we're being watched. Who's there? Where are you? You must shut the fuck up. behind that voice has been watching us the whole time. We didn't come to this building by accident. We were led here. Whoever is talking to us brought us here. I think it was fucking Makoto. He's the one who gave us that present. But why? Master, look! Huh? This is Desuhiko's handwriting. <gasps> How do you know that? When when have we ever seen anything that he's written? Yeah. The handwriting matches the note he wrote me when I did oh. some shopping. Okay, your shopping note. Okay. I'm sure he wrote it. What does the note say? Kanai Ward's history. Kanai Ward was just another remote city in the country. Its development began once Amaterasu headquartered there. Ten years ago, Amaterasu Corporation started their research on homunculi. Top secret research kept from society, which Amaterasu loves for sure. And their client is Yuji, who spent a ton of money to keep the research secure. Who's Yuji? Did he start rhyming? Is this a joke? It sounds like something he'd write, but the content itself is serious. Amaterasu's homunculus research was funded by the unified government. Oh. Well, that's not good. Huh? So Yuji paid Amaterasu Corp to research homunculi? That explains why they haven't interfered with Kanai Ward's isolation. I'm sure they wouldn't want anyone to know they requested such shady research. So Amaterasu had dirt on the Yuji, which is why they can't say anything. known about homunculus research is that human beings are created from human cells. Okay. DNA is extracted from the human that will serve as a base, which is then used to cultivate human cells. Unlike clones, they don't need to be grown from fetuses, and genetic data from the time of collection is replicated. It's an artificial human whose age, sex, and appearance have been perfectly copied. So homunculi aren't corpses, they're copied people? Big stretch, okay. Everybody up. <sighs> the fuck you mean I don't believe he's dead? He's dead. <sighs> he's right in front of us. Like his corpse. Is, is that not his corpse? I guess I guess it could be another switcheroo. Oh, oh I cracked my back. Ooh.
Tatsuhiko. Tatsuhiko is alive, I'm sure of it. I need to find a way out of here so I can check on Tatsuhiko. What happens if I go over here? Hey guys. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Thanks, I'm a pal anyways. Can we have some of those? I'm a pal, can I take some of those? I, I just, just in case. There's another corpse over here. Is that Halara? Thanks. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Halara? government has heavily invested in Amaterasu Corporation's homunculus research. However, it appears there was another research facility at the same scale, directly controlled by the UG. They had two research facilities compete with one another in an attempt to further promote development. Naturally, the two facilities became rivals. Competition grew fierce. Soon, they were resorting to any means necessary. Amaterasu Corporation began conducting human experiments, but this did not lead to results. Meanwhile, the unified government's research facility gathered DNA through extra-legal methods. They extracted DNA from particularly superior specimens and used those samples as the core for cells. Alara also managed to dig up all of this. A rival facility to Amaterasu Corporation. Things are getting even Kalara has to be alive. There's no glasses here. Yeah, what's that? Detective deed? Oh, okay. Because we're a detective in training, buddy. I was able to see people by revealing the truth. Exposing the truth doesn't always lead to salvation. And you should know that better than anyone. You've learned it full well. It's true. I know. I suffered each step of the way. But then I thought to myself, I don't want to see anyone suffer because the truth wasn't exposed. The truth may be. I will expose it. That is my wish for everyone who has fallen victim. What I'm praying for. Prayer is the loneliest activity one can partake in. Even if your friends prayed, none of you would reach another. But please, carry on with your solitary struggle. I'm not alone. As long as our thoughts are one, we 
can fight together. And he's got me too. And there's Flatty taking the spotlight again. He already has me, so he has nothing to worry about. Like zoinks. All my friends been eaten by zombies, Scoob. I know I'm not alone. I was able to come this far thanks to everyone else. I'm sure the truth that we seek lies ahead. It may be something terrible, but it's the root of everything in the Kanai War. And we will bring that truth to light. Let's keep moving. We'll bring the truth to light ourselves. Yes. Why was that announcement so spiteful to him, Master? I know. I'm not going to stop, no matter what they say. Oh, Master, that was cool! I'm going to hunt you to the very end. Oh. A huge turbine is spinning. It must be powering this whole section. That's a lot of metal just to stop some meat buns together. There's someone in there. They seem a bit different from the others. Is that Zilch? We can keep going as long as we remain unseen. Let's leave it alone for now. Oh, I forgot to mention. Yeah, it is. Express. I was looking for you, Director Yomi. Where were you? At the lab again? You must love that place. Huh. The lab. Yumi, you're so stupid. About Yomi. Um, tell me about Yomi. I mean, tell me everything you know about me. Director Yomi. He became director of Peacekeepers about five years ago. Things were. Tell me what it was like back then. Uh, back then, we used Dr. Lester to trade with outside military organizations. Amaterasu's growing success was all thanks to your endeavors. You were on top. 
top of the world. If anyone dared raise accusations about you, they were shot on sight. Many hypocrites acting as if they were upstanding citizens were shot on sight. In fact, most of them died by my hands. Ha, <laughs> ha. Dr. Wesker's lab is located underneath Amaterasu Corp. Yes. Dr. Wesker's lab. The new lab was made within the restricted area. Huh? I heard that Dr. Wesker tried to rush the homunculus research in order to beat the rival lab. So they built a lab about three years ago and started I think it was called Project Homunculus. Was the experiment a success? Or did it fail? I guess it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, all I know is its name, and that it's taboo to mention it in Kunai Ward. You know about that case? What happened? Kunai Ward changed, thanks to that masked freak. It's all his fault. That bastard appeared. Uh, when was it? It's interesting that he's the one who's able to talk because he's been dead the longest, like, from us, like, you know, like, his corpse. Well, then I guess he was a copy, though, or something. Around the time of the blank week mystery. Right after that, the masked freak appeared out of nowhere. And he became CEO of Amaterasu. Wait, so if it's not their corpses... became 
Okay. I'm just gonna skip that. Yep. We can ask Kurumi about the blank week, can't we? Well, based on what he said, Dr. Weska's lab was apparently somewhere near here three years ago. And something called Project Homunculus was carried out there. And then after that, the so-called blank week mystery occurred. But the real question is what the blank week mystery even is. I haven't asked Kurumi about it yet. It's supposedly taboo in Kanai Ward. Girl? Where'd you go, girl? Is that Karumi? Oh my god. I don't think Karumi's dead. That's, that's, we didn't hear any screaming or running. My pal, get them. Where's your little tablet? Where's your little tablet, my boy? There it is. Oh, I think that's Vivia. These clothes belong to Vivia. There's no sign of Karumi. It's that little purple thing. Did the anemic vampire get whacked too? Well, he was out there to begin with. How awful. Another one of your friends has been devoured. Stop saying that! Master, never mind that. Look! It's a report. This is definitely Vivia's handwriting. Regarding homunculus characteristics, homunculi do not die. Rather, even if they die, they come back to life. Okay, I get it. So, they weren't people, they were homunculi the whole time, so... The unified government sought out to right? make research for military applications of homunculi. Their desire was to create an immortal army. Homunculi look identical to humans. Not tell them apart from one another in everyday life. They can become injured and ill. Some are handicapped, some are blind. But once they die, everything is prepared upon revival. Oh shit. Death acts as the switch for rebuilding their selves. It only takes one day. They are immortal and even have eternal youth. Their cells may grow, but they never deteriorate. Stop aging once their bodies stop growing. Those who have already stopped growing maintain that state. There are many unknowns regarding homunculus memory, but they seem to inherit those of their originals. Hmm. The memories at the time of DNA extraction are carried over and completely reconstructed in the brain's memory field. It keeps the originals' memories? None of them seem to have their memories, though. Zolch did remember the past. Maybe that's the individual differences that was mentioned. Then wait, there's more to the report. What does it say? There's only one way to tell a homunculus and a human apart. Blood. Homunculi have special characteristics to their blood. Their blood's characteristics? That's the only way to tell them apart.
Do, 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 do. <laughs> Wait, there's a little purple thing down there. What's that? Vivia can't die. I won't believe it. If he faked his own death, I'd never forgive him. Okay, I'm I'm coming, you shambling creature. Where's Kurumi? Where did it go? Are we just gonna leave her in there? That figure. Is that who is it? A friend of yours, Faster? Maybe. So we gotta track him down, huh? Not here. Where did you go? It's a straight line, Yuma. <laughs> Shut up, Shinigami. <laughs> if the lights are on, the rest of this place must have working electricity, too. It doesn't seem like anyone lives here, so why is the power still on? This must be the secret lab. I guess. Get get in there. What about Kurumi? Dr. Huesca. Dr. Huesca? What are you doing here? Hey, it's you. <laughs> oh, jeez. seem to have completely lost his memories. Doctor, what happened to the homunculus research? Such a terrible memory. I'm ashamed to say my homunculus research with Amaterasu Corporation fell behind. Rumor had it the UG's research facility was on the doorstep of a successful experiment. So in order to catch up, Test site up ahead was constructed. There's a homunculus test site up ahead. Is that the real secret lab? I was getting impatient. 
patient. Used every method imaginable to complete the research first. Do you dare criticize my methods? No. I thought so. Sacrifices are necessary during experimentation. I needed. Silence. That pesky unified government. To conduct the experiment in utmost secrecy, I purchased the entire surrounding village and made it a restricted area. And so, three years ago, the fateful Project Homunculus began. What happens in that experiment? It's been a week since it began. Tell me now, what happened during the blank week? What? T tell me. Tell. 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 for ourselves. First, let's summarize all we've learned about the homunculi. Sure, I'm all ears. Ten years ago, the unified government requested that Amaterasu Corporation conduct homunculus research. Three years ago, to compete with the Yuji's research facility, they built the homunculus testing site. That's where Project Homunculus took place. I don't know exactly what that entails. And right after the experiment, the Blank Week mystery occurred. The mask guy, Makoto Kazutsuki, appeared at Kana and worked right after that, too. He somehow got ahead of Peacekeeper Director Yomi and became CEO of Amaterasu. He halted the homunculus research, and as a result, the homunculi became an urban legend in Kana War. Here. Is this the homunculus testing site? You Boss? Huh? Shinigami, did you hear that voice just now? Huh? Not really. It must have been the wind. No, I heard someone call my name. Chief Yako? The sun. Could we be outside of Kanai Ward? I can smell the ocean. Maybe this was built over the sea. Whatever, let's go. Okay, you must hurry it up. Come on. I'm coming, boss.
Who's that? Oh, Crystal took out here. Creepy machine. I can see a giant ominous machine through the window. Is that used for homunculus homunculi research somehow? It's giving me the heebie jeebies. Let's stay away. Who are you? Oh, some Yeah, who are you? Are you a zombie? No. no, I don't think so. Um, my name is Yuma. Who are you? What? You don't know who I am? <laughs> you must live in the boonies. I'm the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation. Although, I can see that that mm. goes to someone else. Oh, you're Makoto's acquaintance. You'll have to excuse me then. A friend of his is a friend of mine. How about a glass of wine to... Sorry, I'll pass. Besides, there's something I want to ask you. Very well. What is it? Ask me anything. This guy can actually communicate. Yes, he's a lot more alert than the others. to ask you about the Blank Week Mystery. The Blank Week Mystery. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened. What? But piecing together the bits and pieces I know, I do have an idea. Back then, a plot about the unified government planning to occupy Kanai War had been uncovered. The Yuchi wanted Kanai War? What I understand, the Blank Week Mystery is a conspiracy the UG set up to take over the city. Why would the Unified Government want Kana War? I have no idea. I suppose it's to steal the rights to Amaterasu Corporation. As a matter of fact, Kanai War was wiped from the map for some time, just as the UG. But we were saved by my friend, Makoto Kagutsuchi. How did Makoto overcome the threat of Kanai War disappearing? He appeared from nowhere and volunteered to negotiate with the UG. Rumor is, he has a special connection within their ranks. I didn't expect much from him, of course. But it wasn't as if we had any other choice. And before we knew it, the negotiations were complete. How? Upon arriving at the negotiation table, he immediately announced that Kanai Ward would be isolated. Unexpectedly, the UG agreed. Both sides accepted a non-intervention condition and concluded negotiations. I suspect some sort of secret arrangement was made regarding homunculus information. And Makoto didn't tell you about the details of the arrangement? Well, that was part of the agreement. Speaking of, there was one other condition. He said if negotiations were successful, I would have to concede my position as CEO to him. It's hard to believe you gave up your seat as CEO to a complete stranger. I agree. It's a ridiculous story. But without him, the UG would have occupied Kanai War, and Amaterasu would have been consumed. I wanted to protect this company, and he wanted to protect Kanai War. Adds BRB. Man! Beehive! Hazard level C, I. What the ah, fuck? Ah, what the fuck? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> what the fuck? Vanta, no! <laughs> Did Vanta die? It looks like it. To the, to the fucking electro bees! Let's get his body. Oh shit! 
No, leave me alone! I'm trying to save my friend Banta. Oh. <laughs> We can fix this. We have the tools. Hold on. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, five star. Oh, yes! Yes! Ah, yeah! Mm, yeah, boy! Yes! Yes. 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 Press A to change the items you have equipped. Ah, why not buy a nice matching set of items for you and your familiars, huh? Birds of a feather stick together after all. Wouldn't that be cute? Little matching swords to kill your enemies with. So much fun. All right. Oh my god. We can fix this. We have the tools. Hold on. Fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come to think of it, how old are you, boss? I'm eternally seven. Yeah, let's go. Eternally seventeen. Let's fucking go. Oh, sure, that. My God. Blaster got me three and left. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Get yourself a treat, Claire. Don't just buy dish soap. Get a treat. <laughs> yeah. Treat yourself. You need it. You know, dish soap is a fine. Welcome back. What the hell is going on? No. But Kanai War is now entirely Amaterasu Corporation itself. And I know that he said he wanted to stop homunculus research immediately. In retrospect, there is no denying that the research was extremely inhumane. So Makoto became the CEO of Amaterasu just to stop the homunculus research? Ultimately, I can say the decision to concede my position to him was the right one. Under his leadership, Amaterasu expanded its businesses. Their total assets now rival that of the UG. Long live Amaterasu, right? Whacked. The previous CEO died in an accident. But my guess is that actually. Do you think Yumi is responsible? That's just a guess, mind you. Yumi must have killed him for giving away the CEO position to Makoto. With that in mind, I don't know if he actually made the right decision. Well, it would have been either Makoto or Yomi. We don't want Yomi to do it. <laughs> Exactly. I'm coming, boss. There it is again. I heard it clearly this time. 
see a CEO. Oh, first. Seems like this console controls the machines on the other side of the window. Which ones? Which ones? <laughs> None of the machines are doing anything. Well, it's an abandoned lab. If you see Makoto, tell him I'll bring the wine next time. You must walk faster, good god. Looking closer, there are a bunch of capsule type things on this machine. Gross, they look kind of like insect eggs. I don't want to be around here. That must be where they grew the homunculi. I thought something might happen there, so that's why I slowed down. I didn't want it to get cut off. But it looks like we could have kept walking. I'm happy to see you, even if it's like this. Do you remember me? Yuma. Yes, I'm Yuma. Did she you understand me? for everything. Recording. Let's begin. Leaving this video is the greatest stain on my career as a researcher. But given the tragedy about to occur, this record will be of great assistance. It is currently 2 a.m. Fourteen hours have passed since Project Homunculus began. I'll get straight to the point. Project Homunculus is a failure. Something unexpected occurred in our efforts to find suitable DNA. Although we successfully created homunculi, 
The results have been dubbed defective. Defective homunculi have a fatal flaw to them. In the revival process, their intelligence is lost. They are reduced to nothing but senseless, flesh-seeking monsters. There is also another flaw. In a previous experiment, a defective homunculus was exposed. Trying to adjust for it worked against us. Made them even more violent. And oh. we are in hell itself. They're nothing more than monsters. It's here. What's here? Listen, defective homunculi will devour humans down to their bones. They will drink every last drop of your blood. At this rate. His clone. His homunculus clone. No. Maybe it was just some random disc. But Chief Yaka went out of his way to give it to me. It has to be an important clue. But the last part was nothing but static, so there's no telling what he was saying. But I might feel I have some sort of flaw. Did they have a weakness? We need to know it. Did you get to meet your benefactor? Perhaps you finally obtained the truth. Speaking of which, don't you think you should return to the factory? Kurumi is in danger. What? Hey, master! Can you? you really never oh, Jesus. Him. Okay, now he's running. Dog. Okay, he had, had to wait until Kurumi's in danger. Kurumi, I'm, I'm back. Sorry for ditching you for like an hour.
This way? Okay. I know it was you, Makoto. It's you, isn't it? The white smoke that knocked us out of the detective agency was from that gift you gave me. What's your goal here? What are you trying to make me do? Please continue enjoying the rest of the tour. Damn it! How many times did I warn you to stay away from him? You should have listened. It's all too late now. Nope, okay. Uh, oh, there's a person over here. Who's that? Hunter, look! Who's that? They got the hitman? Bummer. Master, if what he's saying is true, Makoto was the one who instigated the chief to hire the hitman. Does that mean he knew about the chief and Yomi's plot and took advantage of it? Belonged to a man named Yomi. And he took the chief's life, too. Even being there was part of his plan. He's had me in the palm of his hand. Meat buns. Oh, they got another body. Is that Fubuki? Don't call her stupid, only we get to call her stupid.
research facility successfully created the first homunculus. The secret to their success was the DNA used as the core for their artificial cells. Their focus was on individual differences in DNA, so they experimented with various peoples. They found success in one person's DNA. Someone believed to have the world's greatest mind. But because of that greatest mind, the completed homunculus was able to reflect on its condition. As a result, it realized there was a homunculus and escaped the research facility. Currently, that specimen is still missing. So the Yuji's research facility successfully created a homunculus three years ago. The project homunculus occurred at the same time. So that's why Amaterasu Corp grew impatient. The key point is that the specimen went missing. Probably has nothing to do with the city, though. Well, now that you've said that, I think it does. But what's this about someone having the best brain in the world? It's gotta be exaggerating. <sighs> Karumi, where the fuck would you go? What the fuck's wrong with you? No, not really. But he did hand me something that exposes the truth about this place. That sounds like something the chief would do. Oh, right. There was something I remembered after talking with Aiko. What do you mean? I'm so glad Karumi's all right. Don't breathe a sigh of relief just yet, Master. The body said she remembered something. What in the world did Karumi remember? Let's see what she has to say. Fubuki, no, I need to stay strong. Everyone has to be alive. Master. Master? Did they kill him for it? <laughs> Jesus. Back then. But that's not all. Within that time, the 
gate in Kanai Ward had moved forward by a week. A whole week passed while you were asleep? I think so. We never quite found out what really happened. When we woke up, everyone in Kanai Ward barely even noticed that it had been completely ravaged. What do you mean, barely noticed? Dangerous up ahead. I'll go first. Huh? What? Leave this to a detective. Man, they're gonna make me do a quick time event, aren't they? I'll be right back I'm gonna have to dodge a bunch of zombies. Then we can check it out together. Please don't disappear on me again. You had me worried back there. Okay. But please be careful. Oh, okay, no zombies. Oh, shit. Those are bodies. With no discernible parts. Our people buns. You're kidding. This is horrible. Good thing we didn't eat one. Why make such a thing? Faster, there's something else over there. We should check everything first. I don't even want to think about what's up ahead.
corpses. The disappearances of people. This is where they all went. They're dead. Where am I? Where am I being taken to? Everyone here is a dangerous criminal that deserves the death sentence. That ruthless killer, that vile kidnapper. Everyone's crying as they pray to God. Will we be serving their sentences here together with no trial? Shit, if only we never been caught by the WDO. They'd lock us up here in like animals, those bastards. We were bought, brought here by the WDO as number one. He, he's called the world's greatest mind, isn't he? Why would the top detective do this? What is he thinking? How can this be allowed? Damn it, what will happen to us? Yeah, I'd throw up too. They didn't say the people disappearing were criminals, though, did they? Kurumi? Oh, thank god. Well, now we're two up here. This way. Sounds like zombies. We can get out this way. Thanks, girl. But I figured it out this time. It's a straight shot. <laughs> A shiny for me.
Hmm. Some kind of second factory? A rain factory. Hold on, Master, there are zombies over there! Yeah. Let's not go this way. Okay, yeah. Well, let's press the switch this way. No. Are you going to flip the switch? Oh, I increased the map size there. Okay. Hold on, I want to save. The sun! It wouldn't be that fast. It'd take a while for the rain to go away, wouldn't it? Well, duh, it's been raining for like three years straight. Don't poke her, Shimi got me. Makoto, what the fuck? We should turn off the alarm before we celebrate our reunion. Aren't you worried about Kurumi's body? Here. Lend me a hand. Why are we... 
my controller vibrated when we touched his hand, so that's kind of weird. So the sun made them crazy. Congratulations, Yuma. You finally arrived at the truth of this city. Congratulations. Enough! I've had enough of your games! Games? I've been taking this seriously the entire time. Especially when it comes to Khan I War. What is your goal? Why are you doing this? You still don't know? I want you to understand the truth about this place. The truth? You mean this... Device? This is but a small portion of the truth. Of course, I'm the one who created this contraption. Although it's a rather makeshift design. Well, it seems to be working just fine. Using the old bathhouse's chimney was brilliant, hmm? The melding of my genius ideas and the world's best technology. Why did you even make it? I don't owe you any explanations. But you've made it this far, so you deserve something. As you know, Amaterasu's experiment resulted in defective homunculi. Do you know the fatal flaw within all defective homunculi? One is an extreme decrease in intelligence when they're resurrected. In other words, they turn into zombies. They may be immortal, but upon returning from death, they become monsters that seek human flesh. The other flaw is sunlight. When defective homunculi encounter sunlight, they become extremely stressed and lose control. They'll return to normal if you block out the sun. But while they're berserk, they lose all reason and memories. Reason and memories? To be exact, it's an allergic reaction to ultraviolet rays. If left in this state, they eventually die. So nobody can do gel manicures here. But things will continue to spiral out of control. Once they die, they turn into zombies. In other words, sunlight is the greatest enemy of the defective homunculi. So you are blocking out the sun for them. And to do that, you created a cage of rain over the entire city? When the clouds grow thick enough to block the sun, rain starts to fall. It's a natural phenomenon. To keep them stable requires clouds thick enough to cause rainfall. I can form rain clouds all across Kanai Ward from here. The altitude and wind conditions make it ideal. The result, of course, is that Kanai Ward became a city of unending rain. Why build such a major contraption just for some defects? Defects, hmm? Who are you to say something like that? What do you mean? You've lost so much on your long journey. But now, well, look at your hands. What do you have left? You're right. Maybe I am empty. But I've been able to face many truths by relying on the strength of my friends. I didn't make it this far on my own. It was thanks to those who helped me. Especially your story. So, even though I'm empty, I have everyone with me. I was able to corner you. Corner me? 
to corner someone. This is how oh, shit. He's gonna shoot us. One pull of the trigger and you're dead. Looks like I've got you cornered. You lucky. What if we had a gun, like, the whole time? There's a spark in your eyes. Like you still have an ace up your sleeve. Okay. Fine. Play your card. Let's finish this. But there's been no murder. Use the power of the Book of Death! He knows about that? Lord Dushin. But nobody's been killed, so what's the mystery? The target mystery is the collection of corpses okay. found in the factory refrigerator. Okay, thank you. Considering the scale of all of this, even I have no idea what the mystery labyrinth will look like. What's wrong? Hurry up. The mystery you want to solve is right here. Hi, Apricot. Welcome on in. Solcott, I warn's ultimate secret. Expose all of my crimes. It's kill or be killed. There's no time to hesitate. Are you sure? One wrong move, and you'll be forever trapped in the mystery. Good, but there's zombies. They won't blame you if that happens. We could die. So many times already. Let's do it, Shinigami. This may be the final mystery labyrinth. Jump in, Yuma. This time don't get kicked in. Jump in. A lot of mysteries going on. I think I kind of get it though. I think I kind of understand what's going on. Oh, she's blushing. He's so short. <laughs> Does he know? Wait, he knows? He can move? What's going on? I don't understand. But okay. Well, time to wrap it up there. And we'll do the Mystery Labyrinth on Friday. Oh my god, what the hell? Hi, Venus! Oh, she's having a little nap. She's so cute. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? Honey's doing 
um, Princess Peach Showtime, which I'm kind of interested in. So let's go raid Honey. Thanks for joining me tonight, everybody. I do appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.